Hello, and welcome to Retro Tech Repair. Today we're going to be repairing a tabletop arcade game that I bought on eBay, a broken Grandstand Astro Wars, known as a Galaxy 2 in some regions. So let's get started. I actually bought two items. There's the listing. I got a Grandstand Astro Wars and a Grandstand Scramble. I paid £30 plus £4.95 postage. And faulty and not working. So let's just confirm batteries in Oops. and take a look well firstly the on off button is very stiff in fact it doesn't even move it looks like oh, it did move but there's nothing it did move but there's nothing it looks like it's been put in the wrong way I think this is somebody's had this apart before Always tried and failed, obviously failed to fix it. So let's take a look inside. Some of these screws are very loose. pretty obvious that I'm not the first person to open this up. Okay, there's a little bit more effort than I had anticipated. Have I missed one? Still seems tight. No, I don't seem to have missed one. Unless there's something under this front panel here. No. There we go. Okay. Got a uh, Fresnel lens in there. It looks like the screen might be removable, so I might I might remove some of that to clean it up. I'll put that aside now. Let's see what we have in here. Just remove all the buttons and switches. Switches there. I think uh, it does look like it is handed. So it's probably just in the wrong way around, but obviously it has been in pieces before. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strip this all down so I can get to the electronics and not have to work through the plastics. Starting to look a little bit cleaner as I get in here, which is encouraging. Makes me think that perhaps whoever tried to fix it the first time didn't get too far into it. So that's mostly there. I'm just going to have to go and unsolder these two connections for the battery just to uh, to get the plastics all out of the way and then we'll take a more detailed look. So 
So now we have the electronics free of the plastics, we can take a closer look. So we have a controller board or a uh, joystick board with a ribbon, power board also with a ribbon and then we have the main printed circuit assembly and we've got a handful of electrolytic capacitors but I don't see any bulging on them and another one here we have a what looks like a step up transformer probably to drive the VFD display underneath the VFD display there we have an IC, which I'm guessing is a microcontroller. And then we have a couple of transistors and one larger power transistor right here. So just to simplify things a little bit, I connected the ground wire and the ground probe to the ground from my supply power supply here. And I have the positive from the power supply going into the board. And I look here, I see a little bit of current drain now and when I go on the five volt line or sorry it's the six volt line here I see six volts so I'm confident that I've got six volts going into here I'm now going to have a look what it does when it gets to the board the first place I feel that I'm going to start looking is around this power transistor here and the reason for that is that I fairly recently restored a Tony Munchman game. Well, I shouldn't say restored, repaired a Tony Munchman game. And that was the faulty component. So I'm going to take a look where the 5 volts goes in from here and trace it around the board. 6 volts goes in and trace it around the board. In the meantime, my probe and wire have come unhooked. So I'll reconnect that. So I should have six volts coming into the board on this pin. And already it's right down at three volts. No, it's not, it's at six volts. That was my mistake. So now I'm just going to trace that around, see where it goes. So I don't see anything to the microprocessor here. I don't see anything in the area of the power transistor either, which is interesting. Just checking that it's still connected. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the camera off a moment and spend a little bit of time tracing this round so you don't have to suffer me trying to do it. Well, I tried going around the board and looking for the six volts DC. I didn't see it on the microprocessor, but I actually found this PCA or printed circuit board. A little hard to follow. It's only single sided, uh, but it looks to have multiple layers, uh, sort of jumpers in there. So it was a little bit more difficult for me to follow than I anticipated. So what I decided I would do is test this power transistor. And the reason I decided I would do that is really because I had experience in another fix that I did on a similar game, a grandstand game, and that was the part that it was at fault. And rather conveniently, they have also labeled on the board the base and the emitter and the collector of that transistor. Now, this is an NPN transistor. The base is going to be a P, a positive, 
and on this one it is uh, it's the pin closest to me so with my meter on diode check I get 0.6 or 0.7 of a volt voltage drop between base and I don't know whether that's the emitter or the collector but one of the two and next to well zero voltage drop to the other one so looking at that that looks like a short between the base and the emitter so I'm going to go ahead and take this transistor out test it on the bench So just taking a look at this transistor that I just removed from the uh, Grandstand Astro Wars. Yeah, I know it's an NPN transistor and I know pin one is the base because it was labeled as the base on the board. I have my meter set to diode check. I'm just going to go on here with the positive on the base and I see I have 0.6 of a volt voltage drop to the, uh, that would be the collector, yeah, but I have a short to the emitter. So this is a faulty transistor. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. So let's try this again. Still nothing. Oh, well, maybe there is. Excellent. There we go. So it looks like that was our faulty transistor. We'll go ahead and get everything cleaned up and put back together. So there really are a lot of pieces to this Astro Wars. And um, now I've got it working, at least I think it's working. I've not had a chance to test the buttons and the joystick yet, but I think it's working. I'm going to reassemble it and uh, we'll give it a try.
Okay, so we have everything back together. And everything seems to be working great. Select, uh, I think maybe that's skill level, or it could be a number of plays, I think it's probably skill level. And then start. Fire, left and right. Uh -oh. Well, that's about it for our Grandstand Astro Wars today. I've really enjoyed making this video, and if you've enjoyed watching it, maybe give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, consider hitting subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.